What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Devil's Details Diecast. Today we're working on a shop truck build for Deep Junk Garage's build-off. <clears throat> this is a 55 Chevy panel van painted in the Ghost Rider motif. Uh, you'll have to excuse the front. I already started taking it apart before <laughs> before I did the, uh, the rotisserie here, so... A little crooked right now but uh i love the panel trucks i watch a show on uh i think it's on hulu called down east dickers um one of the guys on the show ends up with an old chevy panel van for a shop truck so i thought this would give me a good amount of space to put on some decals and uh, i love the look of it so stay tuned and here we're gonna try the jar technique that I see some of you guys doing. I usually brush this on, but the newer paints have been giving me a hassle getting off, so away we go into the orange goo. And we'll leave that in there for a good 15, 20 minutes and see what happens. So while I was at Hobby Lobby the other day, I found this cool deco color copper leaf marker so what I did for this truck since it's kind of a rusty orange color I just went over the wheels with the copper as you can see I kept the same wheels from the Ghost Rider truck just turned them around to get that green out of there to look fine that you can't even see the inside of the wheels once it's covered um, yeah so these are pretty cool they had a uh, silver leaf gold leaf and copper leaf usually I'm not a big fan of gold rims but I really like the copper I think it uh, it's gonna match nicely to the truck all right so here by far is my most challenging thing to date which is doing decals uh, so far it hasn't been that great I've wasted probably more sheets than I care to admit I'm trying to get the right sizes but you know it's a learning curve we'll get there try not to show too much of the build here before the reveal but uh, here we go It's hard to see. Behind this camera, but a little bit of bleed out on there, unfortunately. I, I sealed these things like three coats of clear. Uh, at this point, I just gotta get this thing done. If this was a shop truck, in all honesty, this wouldn't be a pristine showpiece, in my opinion. Maybe something I would take to shows, but uh, if this was an everyday driver, this thing would be beat to shit, so. <laughs> um, I gotta stop going for per perfection and just do what I can. So, there's the front decal, doesn't look that bad. Better than my other attempts. Of course, under this harsh light, it's gonna look bubbly as heck, but once we get some clear coat on it, it should be pretty good. All right, if you remember, this is what we started with, the Ghost Rider 55 Chevy panel van in this metallic orange, which is beautiful. But uh, here's what we ended up with. This is what we would have ended up with had I not bit off more than I could chew. This was a Ford ranch wagon that I was going to convert into a El, Cam <coughs> excuse me, El Camino style uh, pickup truck. But I uh, decided to stay within my parameters of what I know so far. This is going to be a project for a little further down the line when I get better with um, styrene and stuff like that. But uh, this was my original idea. Now let's check out 
the actual reveal. Pretty happy with this, how this came out. I originally had painted it an olive drab because um, I wanted to do a, a working shop truck per se, uh, kind of a dull army green color. However, it was a little too bright for my liking. It was too dark, the decals wouldn't show through. Uh, so I had to go with a lighter color, which I'm glad I chose this. It's kind of funny that I actually painted it almost the same color that it came in. But uh, I really like this fiery red. It's from Tester's, Tester's Extreme Lacquer. It's called Fiery Orange. Sorry, not red. Fiery Orange. Uh, a lot of firsts on this one for me. Um, I'm a rattle can rookie, so this is an all rattle can paint job which I think came out pretty, pretty nice. Um, it's very sparkly, a couple little gremlins in there, but not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I had this in olive drab and I literally had to strip it about two and a half days ago. <laughs> so uh, it came together fairly quickly this weekend. This would be a shop truck that I would take to shows versus, you know, hauling cars or junk pieces. Uh, I do plan on making another shop truck that's a little more used and road-worn. Road uh, as you can see, you got the copper rims. I love how the thing sits in the back. I'm really, really happy with how this came out. I'd like to thank Deep Junk Garage for uh, giving everyone the opportunity to participate in the shop truck challenge. I've been enjoying looking at everybody else's. I had suggest you either search in the YouTube uh, search for shop truck or go to Deep Junk Garage's um, page and you'll get all the links. So for now, this is Devil's Details Diecast signing off.